Hey guys and welcome back, my name is Dang, and today we're gonna continue our Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited Dragon Knight uh, run. Gotta talk to Captain uh, Rana here. The villagers you rallied are ready. I just wish we could have done more. Yeah, yeah. You and I are going to lead the way through the tomb. The locals call it Last Rest. Dars and Sir are going to bring up the rear. Okay, sure. I've studied a map of the tomb's layout, but I never dared to enter. What are we waiting for? Ultimate abilities. Alright, so we got some new skills. And we got our ultimate abilities. Well, I guess just for here, huh? The Dragon Knight Standard. Calls on a flame standard that deals flame damage each second to nearby enemies. It's like that runestone we have in um in um Lord of Rings Online. A dragon leap sounds even better. Okay, how can we do that spiked armor? I would love to upgrade that. Increases your armor. You know what, I do want to play him tankish, so we're definitely going to increase our armor. Does he look different? Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> nice. Yep, look at all those traps. What do you have to say? Two switches will shut these traps off. We need to hit them at the same time. Get them. What do we have to do? I don't pay attention. Use the switch. It's back there somewhere. I wonder if there's some loot we can get over there. Probably not. Hello, Iron Dagger. Raw meat, whatever else, a flint. Right, well, we gotta use the switch here. The other guys can come through. So this is very Skyrim-ish. I used you. Oh, I used it twice? Alright. I have a timer going on. Didn't even pay attention to that. Uh oh. 20 seconds, 19. I'm gonna lose now. Uh oh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. To lose? Or maybe it was just a time of until it all passed. That that's probably what it was. So many dead because of me. I don't know if I. Yeah. Oh my God! Just do whatever you have to do. Don't cry. Criticize afterwards. You're gonna cut this guy. Hello. Searing strike can now be morphed. Do we already have do we still have a skill point? Yes we do. Uh, ability now scales of weapon damage and max stamina. Deals more damage the longer the spell lasts. Okay. Slash an enemy flame. Heals you for 30% of the damage. I like that. Especially if you keep the whole tanking aspect in mind. Nothing to loot here. Ooh, what's this? Nothing I can do here. Whoa, that looks weird. Alright. So the more we hit with it now, the, the bigger our heal is gonna be. That's cool. Hello, you're gonna die. Item durability lost. Yeah, you gotta repair your items from time to time, or it will break. How are we getting here? Clear water. Hello, skeleton warrior. Um, hmm. 
guess we could just go straight. The lockpick. Could have used that earlier. This way. Are we kind of cast? Can I have your shield? Looks a lot better than my shield. Not very impressed by my shield. We're almost out. I'll unlock the door at the bottom of the stairs. In the next... All right. Because I have to do everything. This was one of those because I had to interrupt, I think. Yeah, maybe not, I don't know. I'll meet you on the other side of that door. Okay. Are you coming? I guess not. Oh, let's check out that. Well, that was wasted, but oh my god. Look at that. That's pretty awesome, too. That's awesome. I love it. But I was kind of wasted there. There was nothing going on. I can love that. Let's check out some more loot. Uh, looks like we could. Oh, we have to wait for refugees? Oh, here they come. Oh, even Rexy made it. Good Rex. Who's a good doggy? <laughs> My dog looked up and I said that. Yeah, you could talk too. Hey, you can't say hello when you're pointing at Saul at me. Alrighty. You call that a boat? Oh my god. What are you doing over there? Dalmora. Well, I guess we're gonna go to Dalmora. So far, as I said, I'm, I haven't played super much of this game yet. I'm just I'm kind of holding for time right now. But what I've seen so far, I really enjoyed and I like it. I mean, sixty dollars is still a hefty price for for a game. But I mean, if you think about what you get for other games, uh, sixty dollars, <laughs> the order, whatever it is, <laughs> it's ten hours of gameplay. You get a lot of gameplay here. I love those mushrooms. I want a mushroom tree house. I hope. Go to the watchtower. Just, I'm going to rally. Get to the watchtower as soon as you can. Uh, I hope they make a how was it called a Morrowind remake at some point because I never played Morrowind, but uh, it's just amazing. Well, I never played. Never played all the way through. I was too young, <laughs> too impatient. But I love the land style and the landscape. The design. A Dalmora. It's a lot of stuff going on here. You might as well look a little bit at um, crafting. I don't know what I'll do. There were scary noises in the fields. Some of my gua ran away. Of course. Gua are noble <laughs> creatures. And they're hot. Thank you so much. My so I guess those uh, his family. Uh, we do have a, a sky shot right there. Guess we can go through here. Or is that a dead end there? That's a dead end. I'll get that sky shot first and then I look a little bit at the crafting crafting stuff. Greetings. Where is it? It's up there. 
Oh no, it's not there. That's a hard one to miss. <laughs> Said they're not super hidden or something, but... Yeah, okay. Oh, we gained a skill point, which is actually good, because if I want to look at the craft, you have to spend skill points to get better at crafting. Is there anything I can do up here? Can I jump down there from here? No. Uh, uh, this is a wasted room. Alright, so again, I'm far away from being good at this, but from what I understand, so we have you... Can I just buy here? I cannot create my own stuff. It's an enchanting table, so you could enchant here, and you could make your own um, enchanting stuff. Do I have one of each? Just to show you guys. So you need three runes. Uh, first time you do it, you don't know what the rune does. You have to do it once, or you have to look it up, like on Google. So I had to readjust myself here a second. So you do a rune phrase, uh, much like the, the rune words back in Diablo 2. So you need a potency, an essence, and a aspect one. And then you just craft them together. You have that cool sound effects. And then you learn what they each do. So Joda reduces, ma uh, Mako Magica, Ta base. So what you get now is you get a runestone. The Trifling Glyph of Absorb Magicka. So it deals 22 magic damage and restores 10 magicka. And then we can just um, equip it in our weapon. So it's probably not the smartest idea to do, but I just want to show it off. Just go to your weapon here, right click on it, uh, do enchant. And then we can put in this weapon, enchant it, and there we go. I just, you know, it's nice and simple. It's fun to do. And then there's always these little books here that you can read. This guy, I think, I'm not sure if I want to make a weaponsmith or... Uh, what I'm trying to say. A weaponsmith or a blacksmith. There you go. Not sure yet. Uh, if you want to do alchemy. Each plant has four abilities, but you don't know them in the beginning. You can eat it, and that way you learn the first one. Do we have anything more? I don't have that much yet. And then obviously you can make potions, you know, that do whatever. Woodworking, you can craft bows and staffs. We don't need that. So what I normally do is I just deconstruct everything to get... The materials so I can sell the materials. Plus, you know, you get a little bit of footworking XP. But then mostly you get the uh, materials out. Now remember, you have weapons and then you also have apparel. Clothing is light armor and uh, medium armor. As I said, we're gonna be a tank, so that probably won't help us too much. You can improve, and you know there's different levels. There's normal, there's fine, superior, epic, and legendary, and depending on what you need, like extra materials. Um, I think I'm gonna make him a blacksmith. I mean, we we wanna play the tank game, so it makes sense to be able to craft the best armor and stuff. I really don't know if that's uh, smart or not, but uh, we're gonna go with it. It's a blacksmith in basics. So if you want to know more about it, you can go in here. Uh, I cannot examine it. Is it too far away? There we go. We need iron ore, we find iron ingot, we have a style, so each race has a style. Make a dagger. Uh, is there only blacksmithing? Is there not like armor smithing and weapon smithing? You know what, I'm thinking about Lord of Rings Online here, where weapon smithing and armor smithing is different. Here, let me check you for a second. Confused. Alchemy, blacksmithing. No, there's only blacksmithing. Oh, well, that definitely makes it easier then. We're definitely gonna go blacksmithing then. We can make uh, weapons and armor. Um, I already have already have enchanting. Why do I have... Oh, everybody has one point? Yeah, we already have, everybody has one point in there. Okay. I was gonna say, I didn't put anything in there. 
And um, but alchemy and provisioning would be nice. So provisioning, you make food. Alchemy, you make potions. It's always good. But I think we're gonna go with blacksmith because it also looks better. And you have a more immediate um, benefit. Uh, let's first deconstruct everything we have to get a bunch of iron. I think that makes the most sense. Now you always make sure that you don't need to construct stuff you don't want to sell. There are specific weapons that sell better. Oh, it's our two-handed weapon. I want to leave that just because I, in case I want to switch back to two-handed. All these iron daggers, for example, are totally pointless. 287. It does more damage than what I have right now. I don't want to fight with a dagger. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, and the same here, Piero. Uh, it's definitely not better than what we have. And I like that iron helm more. Alright, so now we have a bunch of stuff. We have a bunch of iron iron. We have still a lot of iron ore that we can refine. So how you do this is you just put that in there, or you press E, and then you refine it. And then, you know, you might as well refine everything. Why not? Alright, so now we have a bunch of iron ingots. Uh, next thing we would do is... Are we going on creation? So let's see, we for example... You know, we still have those level 1 gloves, they, they don't do anything. So we should make ourselves some armor here. So we pick gauntlets. Material, uh, iron ingots, we can choose 5 to 11, the more you choose... Uh, as far as I understand it, the better it is. Again, I'm not an expert, but I'm gonna assume that's what it means. We are style is Imperial, so those are nickels. And then trades, we don't have any research yet, so we can't do anything. But the problem is, um, this will make it level 14. We are not level 14 yet, so we have to use less until we hit something that we can use. So level 6 here. And then all we do is craft. Nice and simple. Knee, same with legs. Um, can do level 6. Still we do Imperial style. Uh, do we have shoulders? What, well, light armor? <laughs> Craft that. Uh, do we have anything there? No. Wait a second, where's that? Waste, yeah, we have nothing. We have nothing for feed. Did I? I don't think I made anything for feed. Let's craft that too. So it's, it's really simple, and I mean, there's a little bit more complexity once you go to higher levels. But on that, it's nice and simple, and now we are fully equipped uh, heavy armor. I'm gonna put a cut in here and then um, next episode we're gonna look if we can craft maybe a, a sword or so. Well, we'll see. Oh, but for now, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.